Hey, it's Naomi from TaskTop. Today I'm going to show you how TaskTop integrates Polarian, Jira, and ALM to improve traceability and collaboration between business analysts, developers, and testers throughout the development process. TaskTop gives every single IT practitioner the information they need when they need it in their tool of choice. And you can design very sophisticated and nuanced integration scenarios with a simple point-and-click configuration. In our demo scenario, a business analyst creates epics and stories in Polarian. TaskTap flows them over to Jira for development. And when appropriate, TaskTap also flows the user stories from Jira to ALM as requirements so testers can design tests against them. Defects logged in ALM will flow to Jira as bugs. And all throughout, we'll see how comments, attachments, and traceable links flow between the tools. So let's get started. Starting in Polarian, under Requirements, we can see that an epic exists titled Enable Two-Factor Authentication for User Accounts. Down here, we can see that this epic already has four linked work items, two related user stories and two related enabler stories. So first, the business analyst uploads a document to the epic. She wants to add the specification document from NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technologies, that's relevant to this epic. She clicks Edit, scrolls down to Attachments, and uploads the NIST document. And then she clicks Save. Next, she creates a new user story to add the option to authenticate by email address, not just text message. She adds the new user story and titles it User Story Email Codes. She adds a brief description sets the priority to high, and links the work item to the epic using the specified by role. And finally, the business analyst adds a brief note to the developers referencing the NIST specifications, Chapter 5. Switching over to Jira, the developer now has a new user story on their board. User story, email codes. The high priority has also been synced over. The relationship to the parent epic is also evident here. You'll note that the comment field has also come through, referencing the NIST document chapter 5. So let's click into the epic for a minute. You can see the NIST publication appears as an attachment right over here. Back in the email codes user story, Switching to the backlog view, the developer moves the email code's user story into the sprint. Fast forward a few days and the developer realizes that she needs to create an additional user story to augment the existing stuff. She creates a new story called Enabler Story, Check Encryption Engine Capability. She adds a description, sets the priority to high, and links it to the epic. She clicks Create and adds the new story to the Sprint as well. So now let's switch over to MicroFocus ALM. A quick refresh reveals that all six user stories have flowed over to ALM as requirements for test case design. The tester clicks the email code's user story. As you can see, the description and priority both have flowed over. Now let's imagine the tester has uncovered a defect when he ran the test. He clicks Link Defects and creates a new defect. He types Error Found on Email for New Accounts. He sets the severity to high and updates the default description. He attaches a test log file for reference and clicks OK. Note the defect ID here is 16. Over in Jira, the new defect has flowed over automatically from MicroFocus ALM. A quick refresh reveals the new bug in the developer's backlog. From the issues list, when we click into that defect, you can see the attachment has flowed over those test logs. Also, the alternate ID maintains the link between this Jira bug and the ALM defect it is mirrored from. Remember that number 16? Look how the bug is also blocking user story email codes. So we have that relationship maintained. Now that the dev team has that defect, they can begin working on it. They drag the defect into the sprint. 
Finally, let's return to Polarian. Going to the defect view, you can see the defect has flowed over. It's linked to the user story email codes, which is linked back to the Epic. Also here under custom fields, the alternate ID represents the link to the story in JIRA, creating automated traceability at every step of the way. In the user story view, you can see that the enabler story to check the encryption engine capability has also flowed over. So as you can see, our practitioners worked seamlessly with each other, never having to leave their tool of choice, never having to copy and paste information, and never having to send an email. Contact us today for a personalized demo or evaluation at tastop.com.